Nicolette here with 212 degree personal training. Today we're going to be talking about your recommended water intake. Uh, the human body is made up of 60% water, your lungs consist of 83% water, and your brain and your heart consist of 73% water. So it's a little upsetting when I find out that nearly 50% of North Americans do not drink enough water. So today we're going to be talking about recommended water intake. Two simple steps that will help make sure that you are getting enough water. First one is to find out your need factor. So we'll go through those right now. 0.5 is considered a sedentary lifestyle, meaning you don't do much. You uh, go to work, you sit at a desk, and you're not, very, you're not a very active individual. 0.6, light fitness training. This would be taking your dog for a walk, uh, playing at the park with your kids. Uh, maybe you attend a class every once in a while. 0.6 would be sports participation and moderate training. So this is about three times a week. You're participating in a recreational, maybe a community team, soccer team or something. You're going to the gym three times a week. You're hitting it pretty hard, medium, medium hard I'd say, but it's consistent about three times a week. Point eight is moderate daily training and aerobic training. So this means you're hitting the gym five times a week. You're hitting it pretty tough. You're working out, you leave pretty sweaty as well as bike. Maybe run on the treadmill for a little bit and my all-time favorite, the Stairmaster. Uh, a number, a point nine is heavyweight training and, and or sports. So when I say sports, I mean like you're competing five times a week, like you would be heavyweight training five times a week. So this is a point nine, possibly six, maybe seven times a week. 1.0 is heavyweight training plus sports training. So a type of two a day thing that we're looking at here. Maybe you work out in the morning with your team and then you have dry line training later that day. So step two of this process would be just to multiply your weight in pounds by your need factor to equal the ounces of water that you should be consuming for your recommended intake. So as you can see, here's a quick couple examples. 200 pound person times 0.8. So they are hitting the gym five times a week. Maybe they go after work and they like to, they like to lift it. They're going to be drinking about 160 ounces of water per day to make sure they get the recommended water intake. Same thing with a 160 pound person, not gender biased. This works for both male and female. They're doing, they're hitting it three times a week. They've got a good flow going. They're going to be needing about 112 fluid ounces for the recommended water intake. Follow me on Instagram. Go to my website and check me out.